Cells organize their interior into functional compartments. Research has shown that many of these compartments don't have an enclosing membrane. Instead, they are dense liquid droplets of biomolecules that coexist with the surrounding environment like oil drops in water. These droplets exchange molecules with the cytoplasm across the surface or phase boundary. We are interested in how individual molecules move in and out of the droplets, a process that can be directly observed by modern experimental techniques. How does the random movement of single molecules relate to the macroscopic physical laws that rule the formation of droplets? In our recent publication in Physical Review Research, we show that molecules move following a diffusion trajectory. Their motion is influenced by the presence of the other molecules, which generate an effective potential according to their concentration. Moving from inside to outside across the droplet boundary, the molecule concentration rapidly changes from high to low. This steep gradient gives rise to an effective force that pushes the molecule toward the droplet and keeps it inside. This force makes the phase boundary partially reflecting for the molecules that are trying to leave the droplet. So, some molecules can cross the boundary while others bounce back and remain inside. We find that these microscopic dynamics of individual molecules depend on the physical parameters of the macroscopic droplet. For example, the amount of reflected molecules depends on the diffusion coefficients and the ratio of concentrations in and out of the droplet. This relation may help develop new ways to measure these parameters using single molecule experiments, of which we suggest a few. With this work, we provide a theoretical framework to interpret single molecule experiments and contribute to the understanding of the nature of biomolecular condensates. Thanks for watching and check out the paper for more details.